What's up gearheads? It's Toby with GearReport.com and I had to take a minute and just make a quick video to talk to you about something that I'm super excited about. Gear Report has partnered with DSP Armory, that's Deep South Precision Armory, dsparmory.co, to do a couple of reviews of some of their products. They've got an AR-15 line, as well as an online store to buy a bunch of products for AR-15s and other firearms related products. But the thing is, I know what you're thinking. It's just another AR-15. Yay, we're gonna see another review. Ooh. That's not the case, guys. In this case, and again, I wanna make clear, this isn't a review. We're gonna give this thing a run for its money, for sure. But what we've got here is the Minuteman DSP-15. And I'm sorry, this thing is so new and so fresh out of the box to me that I'm having to read some notes for you to give you some of the information on it. But I'm super excited as to what I'm seeing so far. So, so the specs on this thing, you know, DSP Armory has three specific pre-made lines, which are the Minuteman, the Patriot, and the Titan line of firearms. And you can check it out at dsparmory.co uh, and see what I'm talking about. Um, each line is specifically designed for something for something specific. So for example, the Minuteman line, which is their base model in 223 Wild, is <clears throat> excuse me, designed for just the, the standard AR-15 platform at a reasonable entry price point of you know under a grand. Um, I'll put a, you know a little price point here of exactly what the website has it listed for because I can't remember off the top of my head. I was so excited I had to get outside and just, just film some film some footage of this to show you guys what I was seeing before I even get into the full-blown review. But at any rate, just to jump right into it, to read you the specs, man, the lower receiver is DSP-15, forged lower, it's a 70-75 T6 aluminum with mil-spec hard coat type three anodized. The upper receiver is also 70-75 T6 mil-spec and an M4 feed ramps hard coat type three anodized. The barrel is a 4150 chrome molly steel with a one and eight twist, 16 inch, M4 contour, carbine gas system. It's parkerized with an M4 feed ramps and a one and a half by 28 thread at the end. The gas system is a .750 diameter gas block. The muzzle device out of the box is a bird cage flash hider, very minimum, very basic for that. The bolt carrier group, I'm gonna show you guys that here in just a second, man, it, that's really cool. It's a, it's a good touch is an M16 style for starters. It's mil-spec MP tested, properly staked gas key bolt carrier with bolt coated with bird song black. We're gonna talk about the bird song, particularly as we get deeper into the review on these things with these guys, that's impressive. The safety is ambidextrous out of the box. I'll show you in a second. <clears throat> the charging handle is mil-spec but they added a tactical latch right out of the box. The trigger is an ALG advanced combat trigger, not just a plain mil spec. The handguard is a 15 inch CNC machine of 6060 T6 aluminum with key mod attachments already. The receiver extension is a six position mil spec 7075 T6 aluminum, same as the body basically. The buttstock is a Magpul MOE carbine stock mil spec. The pistol grip is the Magpul MOE plus grip. The finish is a tight three hard coat anodized tan. The, there are custom coatings available and if you go on their website you'll see all the different coatings as well as a ton of custom work that these guys do. They can pretty much make you anything you want. The weight on this thing out of the box is 6.2 pounds undressed. It includes a case, not a good hard case, that kind of thing, and a 30 round PMAG, Magpul PMAG. These guys are made in Fulton, Mississippi in the United States of America. This is made in America. This isn't some kind of foreign thing that's brought over at a, at a cheap price point. And again, remember the price point. I'll post it up again here for you if I can't remember to. But I wanna show you a couple things on this. So it's just great for me to read that piece of paper. It's great for me to show you all the cool pictures that I just went through. It's gonna be even better when I go to review this thing and actually run it through its, its paces. But I wanna show you this. Now I just came from a class, a two day class, a Team Tactics 1.0 
that Control K, Paul Taylor at Control Chaos hosted here in North Carolina at the military base in, in Fayetteville. It was an extremely advanced class, um, advanced for your average shooter, not advanced for, for SEALs or Green Berets or any of the real guys, the real door kickers, but for, for your users like me, it was extremely advanced. So much so that one of the rifles I was using to review actually had some failure points on it for me. I might have to go back and play with that. Fortunately, I was doing a review on the optics and not the rifle itself, otherwise I'd have to give a bad review on that. But the point is, I take a lot of classes. I'm gonna take his 2.0 class whenever he comes back to North Carolina a little later this year um, with Control Chaos. And I run my AR-15s. I'm not a guy who just buys a, a, a cheap price point, you know, under a grand kind of rifle and expect it to just sit on my shelf and look pretty or just be that cool thing that I take out on the weekends. I run my guns. So when I see little things that make a difference, it just makes an impact on me. It just impresses me. It just makes me happy. And on this, right out of the box, as soon as I open it, that's why I'm out here, you know, forgive, forgive the backdrop, forgive the lighting, forgive everything. Again, I'm gonna do a bunch of reviews and run this thing with every optic I can put on this thing, uh, in classes, I'm gonna give this thing a real run for its money. But the little things that I noticed right out of the box, and those of you out there in YouTube land who aren't just keyboard shooters will understand exactly what I'm pointing out here when I tell you this. Let's start back here at the back. So Magpul MOE stock, that's great. You know, that these days that's getting a little more commonplace, but right out of the box, that's nice. Check this out. Right out of the box. Single point sling right at the top of the tube. Right out of the box. I didn't add that, guys. Right there. The Magpul MOE Plus grip right out of the box. This isn't the hard plastic one. This is the rubberized grip that actually feels really good right out of the box. Literally changed nothing. I was so excited that I came out here and brought this to show you before I can even do the review or anything else. Ambidextrous safety. Right out of the box. Didn't change that. Oversized latch handle on the charging handle. Okay, forward assist, not just your standard forward assist. Now that I got the, the bolt, <clears throat> excuse me, the bolt cover open, I want you to see if you can see that. I don't know if I can get that on the camera or not. Strike Industries bolt cover, right out of the box, guys. I didn't put that on there. Strike Industries bolt cover at that price point. Check out that bolt. Can you see that on the camera? that little custom bolt there with DSP Armory's coating on there and their logo, that's, that's awesome. So of course your, your uh, <coughs> bolt catch is, is standard, the Magpul magazine's nice, their custom embroidered symbol there or logo, that's a nice touch. But I wanna point this out. So for starters, check out the trigger, like we talked about. Not just your average Joe trigger there, right out of the box. But more importantly, check that out. Again, I haven't changed anything. That's right out of the box. The trigger guard is that oversized trigger guard to where you can fit a glove or when there's cold, you know, so when it's cold weather and you've got oversized gloves on, you're trying to keep warm. Right out of the box, guys. I'm telling you what, this thing, I haven't even shot the first shot through it yet. QD, of course. You got the QD rail system that goes almost the full length of it. Flash hider, I'll probably end up changing that out. Uh, go ahead and put probably a Strike Industries flash hider on it. Uh, the barrel in 223 Wild, um, and it's the thin down barrel on the inside. You can, I don't know if we can get a good shot of that. I might try to splice in a picture, but it's the thin down barrel in there to, to keep the, reduce, the weight reduced. And this is light, 6.2, I think is what it said on the paperwork, 6.2. That's impressive, guys. And that's before I dress it out, and I'll dress this one soft. I'll probably put some uh, whole, whole shot uh, sights on it, uh, maybe a Vortex Venom optic on it, just something real lightweight to keep it to keep it run worthy. Um, and I don't know that I'll change anything else at all on this before I start running the gun and then get you guys a review. Might change out the stock, maybe the butt stock. I haven't made up my mind on that one yet because the way I run my gun, generally speaking, is I'll run a two point sling from back here to here, um, to pretty far back actually right in here. 
and there's nothing to attach on back here. So I'll either buy an attachment for the Magpul stock to keep it stock, or I'll uh, or I'll change that out. But the point is, listen, guys, again, I'm, <laughs> I am really excited about this. This is. This is impressive. I mean, look, when you come to a, a, a rifle that's under $1,000 that's in the category and DSP Armory with their higher end rifles, with the Patriot and, and the Titan line, definitely compete with some of your bigger bigger brands. Um, easily compete with them. But one that's at the lower price point like this that comes out of the box with this many features, I am really looking forward to putting this thing through the, through the ringers. So I'll get off my soapbox and quit rambling. But I'm telling you what, guys, when I got home and saw that this had come in from the guys at DSP Armory, I was just so excited that I had to come out here and get some pictures and get some initial footage and just get the message out there to you guys that stay tuned. We're gonna have a lot of reviews coming and a lot of work done with this rifle. But more importantly, go check this out, man. Go, go talk to these guys. If there's any custom work you need done, any kind of laser engraving, something simple like that, custom builds, crazy you know coatings or hydro dips or coats. these guys can do the work and have some really good contacts outside of their company with some people here in america everything made in america work done in america machined in america so on and so forth these guys have got some really good contacts and do some amazing work um, talk to them off of their facebook page and you can go and check out some of the guys who do the custom work and some of the custom work that they've done point is at this price point I was so excited when I saw those little touches, man. I'm telling you, God, I wish I'd have had this last weekend for that Team Tactics class. Right out of the box, all this thing's gonna need is iron sights, an optic, and like I said, a way for me to attach my two-point sling from here to here, and boom, this thing is gonna be a winner. It's gonna be a shooter right out of the box. More to come, but this is it. The Minuteman DSP-15 from DSP Armory, Deep South Precision Armory at dsparmory.co. Stay tuned to gearreport.com for more reviews, more information on this. If you're catching us on YouTube, hit that little subscribe button down there at the bottom, ring the bell for us. If you're catching us on Gun Streamer, hit the subscribe button. Go over and like the guys' pages at DSP Armory. Go and like the Mining Ridge Armory page and give us a little love so that when we're out here spending the money on the steel and the ammo to run these guns and do these reviews for you guys, that we've got a little love too. Um, like the pages, talk to the guys. Go and check out their website. I'm telling you, you're going to be impressed. At this price point, you cannot lose, guys. Anyways, until we see you on the range and until I can get a chance to run this thing, super excited about this. You keep living your dream.